Hey there, lads and ladies. It is Petrifying Pumpkins here, and I've got some new lighting going on here, so I don't. I hope it doesn't look like too creepy, like the flashlights under the the face kind of a thing. Like I'm t about to tell you a scary story. Well, maybe I am about to tell you a scary story because I'm about to talk about Contractor Showdown, how I've been playing this game on my PSVR2 headset using the PC adapter on PC VR for the past nearly a month or so. And I've got maybe 10, 15 hours into it now at this stage, so I feel like I've got a good idea what the game is about. And I can say without, you know, without question that we really need this game on PSVR 2. But I also think this game may need PSVR 2 as well. Look, we've had some talk from the developers saying it's on their to-do list, and this is a while ago. I don't think they've said anything about a PSVR 2 version since. So my hope is that they're just quietly working on this port behind the scenes, because this game is one of the best shooters I've played in VR, and I have to say, especially when you consider that the PSVR 2 is completely lacking any Battle Royale game at all. Even the PSVR 1 had Rec Room, and Rec Room had a little Rec Royale game, which was like a 16-player Battle Royale with paintball guns. So, you know, it wasn't quite what a Battle Royale enthusiast probably would have wanted on PSVR 1. However, it was, it was better than nothing. And on PSVR 2 right now, currently, we have nothing. So we really, really, really want this game to come to PSVR 2. And not only because obviously we want every game to come to PSVR 2, but having played this game on PC for as long as I have, like the very first thing I noticed when I played it on PC how, was how, you know, the adaptive triggers was missing. And I can only imagine with the haptics there as well, you know, with the HDR and maybe eye tracking, if they could get that working, it would be a much smoother, much prettier, much more maybe stable experience on PSVR 2 if they could get that optimized. And of course, it's easier to optimize a game for one set piece of hardware like the ps5 slash psvr2 than it is on pc where everybody's got different graphics card and configurations and you know it can get a bit finicky and messing around with the settings to get the right stable frame rate or whatever but then i think we should also consider the fact that you know i've seen some screenshots from lsb actually who's somebody who watches the channel he's probably watching this video right now so shout out to lsb where, you know, Steam have these charts where you can kind of see who's playing what game at any given time. And he was sharing some charts of the Contractor Showdown player count, and it was like at, in the 40s or something. Now, that's just the Steam version. Of course, this game is also standalone on Quest, where I have no doubt there's many, many more people playing it on Quest compared to Steam. However, there are instances where it seems like maybe it's taken a bit too long to get into a game, especially a game of this quality. Like, again, like I say, one of the best users I've played, like the gun mechanic mechanics are amazing reloading the weapon handling all that stuff is really really good the way the attachments work like you just switch them on the fly and you know it's all very very cool it's very very reminiscent of call of duty warzone and i mean that in a good way it's impressive that a small studio has managed to pull this off and get it so similar to like a call of duty warzone vr experience without being call of duty you know without that big multi-million dollar budget that's not to say the game is perfectly polished or anything there is still a lot of issues that need to be ironed out bugs and whatnot but considering the size of the game considering the scope considering you know the player counts and stuff like that it's uh, it's at a very playable stage so while i understand psvr2 not necessarily the most popular headsets it's not like there's millions and millions and millions of users on psvr2 i still think there might be a more appreciative audience of a game like this on PSVR 2 compared to maybe Quest even, because I feel like Quest is more of a casual type of a headset. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is kind of a hardcore gamer's game, you know, if you know what I mean. I feel like you find the hardcore audience. I mean, even Firewall Ultra, you know, a lot of people watching this right now might hate Firewall Ultra. There's obviously a lot of negativity when it comes to that, especially since First Contact Entertainment was shut down. But even today, you can play a game of Firewall Ultra. Now, it might take you a little while to find a game, but you will probably find a game relatively quick, maybe quicker than you would expect for an alleged dead game, you know? So then if we have a game like Contractors that's getting support, it's a live service game, you know, constantly getting updates and seasons and whatnot, so you can imagine that, you know, it's only going to be a good thing for the health of that game. But here's the thing. I mean, we may have seen this even with Concord. You know, it's, uh, it's important to make a good first impression to kind of strike while the iron is hot. So I kind of wish they managed to get a PSVR 2 port done alongside 
the other two versions, the PC and the Quest version, because you want to make the full impact at launch the way it is now. It seems like the player base has fallen off Steam a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure about the Quest version. It's hard to know. There's no numbers there. But if that, that's also true on Quest, maybe. I don't know if it is. But if it is, you know, it can be hard to recover these people back. So that by the time the PSVR 2 version comes around and it does have crossplay enabled, which would be like vital, by the way, uh, I should have emphasize that sooner but even if it does have that you know it's like we're not getting the same day one experience people have dropped off and maybe the game suffers so it's a shame that they couldn't get it done on psvr 2 at the same time as pc and quest i feel like that's maybe a failing on sony's part somebody at sony should have been keeping an eye on this game somebody third party relations or whatever and you know identified this as a genre that's completely lacking on psvr 2 maybe through you know a few euros a few dollars in the way of the developers caveman studios i think they're called uh, just to ensure that the psvr 2 was up to parity in terms of release for this game having said that we're going to have to rely we're going to have to put up with the fact that it's a better late than never kind of situation if it does come now they haven't guaranteed it's going to come being on their to-do list doesn't necessarily mean it's coming i mean we look at blade and sorcery their official stance on this is that they're looking into us you know so it's possible we'll never hear about that again on blade and sorcery on ps4 2 it could be the same situation with caveman studios with uh, contractor showdown where they look into us they see maybe numbers that they don't like or you know they get indications that maybe it's not going to be worth their investment and then they silently back out and don't tell us about it you know that could be the case so i guess what the point of this video is is that if you're not aware if you're someone who didn't get that pc adapter and you know you were like me before i had the pc adapter kind of looking at these games you wanted i think you can trust me when i say that you if you're into the shooters at all you want this game on your psvr2 headset and so then if you ever get the chance if you're on twitter following caveman studios following the contractor showdown you know official account and they tweet something or whatever you gotta let them know you have to let them know there's a hunger there is a hunger for this game on psvr2 sony aren't going to do it so we have to do it for them it seems for ourselves you know that's the only chance we have maybe and maybe that's entirely unnecessary maybe this game is about to drop on psvr2 and they're just being really quiet about the port. and if that happens amazing i'll be delighted uh, i would probably drop the pc version of this straight away if it came to psvr2 uh, just unless they really botched the port but i just imagine it'll be a smoother experience there and especially if they can get the dynamic full visor rendering in that would be amazing on top of the haptics and the adaptive triggers especially i mean it's just such a fun game uh, battle i know battle royales people are kind of sick of them they've kind of been done to death a little bit but there is a reason fortnite is so popular there's a reason call of duty warzone is so popular for the people who do get into these games myself included like they can be super super addictive there's almost like an element of you know gambling involved because you never know what you're going to get and that changes the permutations of every single game so it always keeps things fresh even if you're on the same map all the time so yeah this is kind of a, a port begging video uh which you know disgusts me to have to do I've, I've had to become one of those people now but please somebody anyone out there who has the power to make this happen on psvr2 make it happen please we need us and everybody watching who wants it to happen on psvr2 make some noise as they say on the streets and then maybe psvr2 will get its very first battle royale and maybe it's only battle royale i can't really think of any other big ones maybe population one but i think that's owned by meza now so i don't expect that to come to psvr2 even though it was supposed to come to psvr at some point but then they got acquired so that went down the drain so yeah let me get some of that contractors vr showdown on psvr2 also by the way there's a contractors game that's you know contractor showdown is a spin-off of contractors which is like a 5v5 more traditional rainbow six type game you know we'd also say yes to that I haven't played it yet, but apparently that's very good also. So, you know, I wouldn't turn my nose up at that either. So let's get both of those games over on PS4 too. Thank you very much. And that's all I have to say. Let me know in the comments below. Are you hungry for this game? Because if Cavemen Studios, and man, I really should look up the name of the studio to make sure I'm saying their name right. If Caveman Studio happened to come across this video and look in the comment section, I would like them to see a hungry audience. So if you see this video and you want this, Put it down in the comments that you'd buy this, you know, support the developers, that it's worth their investment and their time if they put it into this. It'll keep the player count, you know, afloat, I think. I think this is a game people will come back to again and again and again. Even now, I'm like itching to get back into it as well. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much for watching. Before I go, however, let me thank my channel members whose names are on screen as I speak. They are the following. Muzz, 
No One Knows, Plank71, Esports Commentator for Hire, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Pete Hawkins, the Governor of Eeyore, Crumb, Superfly AF, Edify Till I Die, Aced, Mr. 777, Geza, Minus, and Dead Eye Dan. Thank you very much for that support. It is greatly appreciated, just like the support from Caveman Studios of getting this game on PSVR 2 would also be greatly appreciated if you're watching. Also, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in every single one of my videos. Thank you very much, Decepticon. You can check him out in the description, Decepticon.com, for more of his tunes. That is it for this video, lads and ladies. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now. Please try to stay moist. Amen.